Hey guys, welcome back to like Liko Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, if you have a Mazda CX-7 or Mazda Speed 3 or Speed 6 with a 2.3 turbo engine, guys, and you're trying to find your oxygen sensors, this is known as one of the sensors as well. You have two of them, sensor one, sensor two, also known as upstream oxygen sensor or downstream oxygen sensor. We'll show you guys where to find those and we'll explain where they are on that engine that's removed so you know, guys, where everything is. Now, we guys have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission, guys, is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment, let us know what you think. So, let us show you now. Okay. This is the engine guys out of this Mazda CX-7 but the same engine is being used on Mazda 3 and Mazda Speed 6 as well. It's a 2.3 turbo engine. So this is the side of the engine with the belt right here. This is the front of the engine with your power steering reservoir right there. Intake and on the back side guys where the turbo is, okay, and the exhaust, that's where you're going to find your oxygen sensor. This is the back side of the engine. Now, this is guys where your turbo is, okay, this is the turbo compressor, right there, turbocharger, and this is guys your catalytic converter. Oxygen sensor 1, or also known as upstream oxygen sensor, is right before the catalytic converter. This is one super, uh, super important oxygen sensor, okay, that we are going to, okay, uh, <coughs> we're going to explain what it does. This sensor, guys, tells the computer if it needs to adjust the air and fuel mixture so the car can get the best mileage and the best emissions as well. Now this is sensor 1 or upstream oxygen sensor. The wiring harness guys, okay it goes, okay it's a black cable, it goes all the way to here and it has two connectors. You can find out guys in the description of the video below where we get all our parts from and you can find the replacement sensors as well. This is your transmission side, on the back side of the transmission, that's where the connectors for the oxygen sensor will be located. Uh, sensor 2 guys, or also known as uh, downstream oxygen sensor, is past the catalytic converter. Uh, this oxygen sensor is the one that detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job. And if it's not, then that's a problem guys. It's going to tell you and give you a call as well. This sensor, it's a blue wire, okay, it goes all the way to here, it has one connector. How we remove and replace these sensors? This is a special uh, oxygen sensor socket. You can check it out, guys, listed in the description of the video below. You go on top of the oxygen sensor, slide it over, okay, like that, and you just get it loose. Super simple. This is very, very good design, guys, and it's very inexpensive. Check it out again, it will be listed in the description of the video below. So, uh, just a quick video to show you where things are, because if the engine is in the vehicle, it's also almost impossible to do that. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.